name is Arun Ramal. Uh, I am a structural engineer by profession, and uh, I, I want to talk to you guys about Cabaret School. How did the project start, and you know where we are today, and what we are trying to do. My name is Tony Daniels. I'm the principal of Cycle Architecture and Planning. Uh, we found out about this project uh, through uh, Arun. He is also Nepali and, uh, you know, frequently travels back to Nepal uh, and is very, very committed uh, to the, you know, communities in Nepal. My name is Marissa Fatima. I'm an architect in Brooklyn, New York. I was working with Cycle Architecture and about two years ago, I had a chance to have a conversation with Arun Ramal. Um, about a lot of the things that were happening in Nepal after the earthquake had hit. We as architects, I think, automatically think about ways that we can, you know, help in terms of bases or shelters or schools. I remember getting a phone call from ex-member of parliament. He sought my help. I went to see his village as we were climbing up and I saw this particular school, which is a secondary school. Uh, we started the project in two phases. Phase one is basically we needed immediate classrooms for these students to move into. Me and my friend Naran, who is my partner in Nepal, decided let's start with three classrooms and maybe add another two more classrooms and try to give them five classrooms, whatever money that we can generate. And he also collected uh, some funds from UK and we were able to raise for $30,000, $40,000 to build uh, the first phase of the school, which basically included six rooms, so which uh, we have more or less uh, managed to finish so far. Phase two uh, came in later on, which is the expansion on phase one, which included additional classrooms. We got obviously six classes would not be enough. We needed at least ten classes, as well as other facilities that are necessary for the school. In all of our projects, uh, aspiring towards, uh, you know, a net zero energy design. Certainly that's the case in a place, you know, located far off grid. We uh, came up with a solution. Uh, we have uh, actually hexagonal classrooms, which allowed us to sort of stagger and fit more spaces in a, you know, on a narrower footprint. We all felt that rammed earth was a really good uh, material to utilize and start to perfect and that a lot of local craftsmen were starting to become interested in. It was seismically, um, you know, a good solution. Another thing I wanted to mention is that we have on the uh, upper campus, we have a very, very large sheltering roof. And one of the main reasons for this is to provide a uh, sheltered area during the monsoon season, but also to collect and divert rainwater on the lower campus. Uh, for uh, a solar array, uh, which will provide uh, all of the, uh, the power uh, necessary for to, to operate the school. So one of the key features of, of this school um, is that uh, we're providing uh, sanitary facilities, and sanitary facilities are extremely important in, in rural schools. I happened to be in Nepal during the same time of month for me where I was looking for women's health products basically throughout Nepal and was shocked to find that I couldn't buy anything there. And also there weren't facilities to dispose of any kind of you know standard women's health products that we use here in the States. It was surprising to me. It made me automatically ask questions about like, well, what do the girls do at school? And I was really saddened to get the reply, they don't, they just stay home. Without proper sanitary facilities, not everybody can attend school. We have come this far with the help of the community, with the help of friends. We really need your help in coming up with the funds so that we can finish this project.
We would love it if you could find a way to contribute to this cause. It's for the children and the people of Kavra, uh, who are as much a part of this world as you and I. I think that it's a great opportunity for us as part of this larger community to start to support educational causes and also green building and also um, women's health in a region that desperately needs it and in a really tangible way.